Hi, it's Susie with another quick exercise tip. This week is Healthy Bones Week, and so I'm gonna give you three exercises that are really designed to improve bone density and build up bone strength. Now, they are three exercises involving impact loading, so it's important you determine if it's safe for you to undertake them. With bone density, if you have a high fracture risk, it's actually better to start off with some different strengthening exercises. If you're uncertain at all, check with your healthcare provider before doing the exercises. But if you've had any instances where you've had a small fall and you've broken a bone in an in instance where it shouldn't normally break, that's also an indication that these are not necessarily good to start with right away. Now let's get into the exercises. The first one is a variation on one of my favorite exercises. It's called a heel drop and it's using the top of the calf raised position. And then we're going to actually provide a little bit of impact down through the heels. So this is one of the few instances where we're not controlling the force and we're purposely trying to increase the force on the way down. So make sure you're next to a wall for balance and you can hold on to the wall because we're not trying to train our balance for this one. We're gonna raise up onto the toes as high as we can and then we're going to drop the heels with a fair bit of impact. It's best on the first repetition that you just do it mildly to make sure that you don't have any pain or discomfort as you're performing the exercise. And provided that's okay, you can put a little bit more force into the drop section. You wanna try and do 10 of those. We're aiming, as I said, to increase the impact through that lower body for that specific exercise. So that's number one. Number two, we're gonna to go to the upper body and we're going to be using a modification of a wall push-up. We're gonna do what are called wall push-offs. So the setup for the wall push-up is exactly the same. We're gonna be standing with our feet away from the wall our hands are gonna be roughly in line with our shoulders and at the same height as our shoulders. We're gonna move into the push-up position and then at the end of the movement, we're actually gonna try and push off the wall so that we have to catch ourselves again. And that's gonna provide some impact for our upper body. So I'll show you what that's going to look like. We've got hands in line with shoulders, going into the wall and pushing off and catching ourselves against the wall, okay? We don't need to catch and go straight into the next push-up. We actually wanna catch ourselves with a fairly straight arm and before moving into the next push-off, okay? And we're going to perform 10 of those. Now the final exercise is a really simple one and it's aiming at hand and wrist bone density. So what we're gonna do, one hand is gonna stay uh, extended, the other hand is gonna form a fist and we're just going to punch the hands together, okay? This is creating some impact in the wrist area. Again, with all of these exercises, it's important to start with a less amount of impact and then build it up if you feel as though you're comfortable to do so. Make sure that you're doing that on both sides, swapping the rolls of the hands so that you're getting even impact left and right. And again, 10 of those per side. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. Stay safe, stay active, and I'll see you soon for another quick exercise tip.